Okay, here we are today. We're gonna do a memory spot on the old trusty T410 Panzer right here. That's my computer name, Panzer. You look at this is what he looks like. Think that T410 Lenovo. Right? Um First off what we're gonna do is I got these two I ordered these two four gigabyte sticks piece, right? These uh what are they data RAM? Right? I got them from Amazon, they came in yesterday. Right, we haven't even got them in the seal package, you know, saying all that good stuff, right? Yeah, that's me, right? Anyway, um, what we got here is we got an eight gigabyte kit. We got two, right, two times four gigabyte, you know, sticks, right? DDR3, 1333, 204 pin, SO DIMM Samsung, right? They're the Samsung OEM chips, I guess, memory, right? Each one is four gigabytes. We're going to switch ours out to three and a, huh? Yeah, we only get, what? Oh yeah, low density, right, you know, uh, memory chips, right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off by finding our tool. See, look, there's the paperwork. But these were, um, let's see, how much did I pay? Uh, how much did I pay? I paid like 35 bucks in this time. $37 or something, Amazon shipped, you know, within a week. That really good, cool stuff. I like Amazon. But anyway, so here's the tools that we need. We need a little number. Number one, Phillips screwdriver. Uh, we might need a little number one, flat blade screwdriver. Uh, we need a couple of these long here stick cube tips for, you know, cleaning out the dust and the guns and stuff. We're going to check everybody else out. And we need this hammer right here just in case everything works right. You know what I'm saying? So, here we go. Phillips screwdriver. Right now you want to take the first thing, the first things first, you want to take the battery out. Right? Right here. Put, you take the battery out. Push the button over to the side, grab hold of it, slide it off. Uh, take a look at it, make sure it's nice and good, everything's happy, right, hit it with the old brush a little bit, look at all that dirt and dust flying off of it, yeah, my feet is dirty, right, it doesn't get a bath very often, right, you don't want to be dusting down in the holes and the cracks and stuff, you do want to dust off the top, now, next thing is to take the number one pivot screwdriver, right here in the middle, there's this door, right, with one screw holding it on, there's a clip at the top right here, right, fill it. You want to be careful, you don't want to strip the head out because this is a special kind of a screw. It goes all the way through and it clicks into the keyboard on the bottom and it holds the keyboard in. It's one of the screws that holds it in. And later on, this is important because we're going to be taking the keyboard out because there's another memory stick underneath that that we need to get to. But first, you're going to concentrate on this one. Okay? Uh, just keep turning it until right, so it pops up. Okay? There we go. Keep a little bit of tension on it, that way it'll you know, come up easier. Ah, there we go. Slide it right out. Look, see? See that long, funny looking screw? Yeah. But anyways, now here we are. Put that over there with the back. Here we are. Look, see? There's one of our memory sticks right here. Right? Woo -hoo. It's a little dirty in there. Right? Come on. Make sure you don't got no static cleaning or anything. Right? So what we're going to do is, is we're going to pop up the little, the little clip right here. Right? Right? We're going to slide, pop it out. Ah, pop this one out. Right? Once you get them out, the little memory thing pops up. You gotta pull it out. Woo! Set it down. Man, oh man. Look at that. Easy speed. Right? Come on, get all the little dust candles. Don't blow in it or none of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just dust it up with your little Q-tip. Make sure you get, you know, all the little nooks and crannies. At least kind of good. Right? You just want to get all the dust particles and flakes around the inside, outside of the door. Right? Okay, now. We're going to take our woo, data ram. Okay, four gigabyte stick of memory. Look at that packaging, that's something in it. Alright, anyways, here's our four stick of memory. Come on now, pop me up there. There's one. Alright, let's see. That four gigabytes. It's a good stick. These supposed to be high grade stuff here. You know, right, so that's what we're trusting in. Okay, flip it over this way. See where the slot is, you want to line it up where the slot is, right there on the, the little carrier rack. Put it in. Right, slowly, steadily, push it all the way in, put it down until it clicks, just like that. Alright, hey, we're done with this part right now. Uh, if you're smart, we'll take the old DDR, you know what I'm saying, and we'll stick it in the thing right here. Alright, so it doesn't get lost or displaced or and you shuffle it into the wind because we might be wanting to sell that on opera up or something later on. Uh, anyway, so the next step is to go ahead and take out the other two screws. Right? Now down in here, 
Okay. Yeah, down in here, we got this which one? The one in the plastic or the one on the side? Okay, we're gonna take out this black screw right here that's in the plastic right here. Because that's the one that goes through that holds the clipboard. Alright, here we go. Feel it. Remember, slow, steady tension. You don't want to strip your head out. Uh, some of these screws are really special and unique and you can't replace them. And I believe this is one of them. <laughs> uh, so just want to be careful. Disclaimer time, you know what I'm saying? You should be wearing, you know, eyeglasses, you know, safety glasses, medical gloves and all that stuff. Don't be drinking coffee while you're doing all this stuff. Right? And all that kind of junk. Don't be laughing at me, man. I'm doing the best I can. Now I got the screw, the screws unscrewed. Now what do I do next? Flip it over. Ah, there's the screw. See, it fell out. There, you heard it. Right, we're going to set him right there to the side. Right now. Flip them over. I got the wrong side here. Right, open them up. Push the clip. Set them down right here. Right now. Push away, you said? Push, push down. And away. And your keyboard should just... Uh, this looks like... It. Yeah, it just looks like it disengaged, it did. You're going to pull up the corner, oh. You're going to pull up the corner tab. Get out of the way! Dude, I got this. No, you're going to break it, that's not how you do it. Right there, where the all cab is. You see where that little tab is? Yeah. On the side of that, if you do it anywhere right. else, you'll break it. See right there where the all key is. There's a little tab. You just push the key down. I know what I'm doing here. Just push the key down. Catch the clip and just slowly, evenly uh, disengage it from the body of the plastic. Right? There it is. There we go. See, look. Sweet it right up, just like that. Now, you want to make sure that this one over here, right by the by the down key, right, is the same way. Yep, there's one, there's one here, and there's one. There's four of these. Once you got them all loose, you just lift the keyboard up. Right, see what you got. Holy smoke, we got, whew, man, there's marshmallows and stuff living in here. Anyways, right, looks pretty good. This is what the inside of a Lenovo ThinkPad T410 looks like. Right, so what we're after here is, let's take a look at the fan first. Holy smoke. Yeah, well, it looks like we can take him out. He's only got one screw holding him in. So, whoops, switch, build screwdriver. Right. Even steady pressure. Right. I'm gonna put the screw over here. Right now. See anybody else? No. Nope. Gonna lift him up. Lift up the cage. He's holding him actually. Pull it out. Slowly. We're gonna do all this stuff slowly. You want to bend anything, you want to twist anything, you want to hurt anything. Yeah, especially you don't want to break anything. Come on, you jump out of there. Oh. Where's the other screw? Who's the other screw for this guy? Huh? Which way did you come out? Oh, I don't want to take the whole thing apart, so we're so we're skipping the fan. Oh. Wait a minute, there's all kinds of scars and clothes in here. Look at all this. Mm -hmm. It's alright, not going anywhere. Yeah, it's alright. I had it right there. I knew where I was supposed to. See, look at that. See, look at all that scars. <laughs> right, this is terrible. Don't be using them cans of that spray stuff on me because that's got way too much pressure, way too much force to some of these sensitive connections, some of these ribbing. Something like these, these ribbing, ribbing, you know, things, right? You can just shred them, right? Yeah, blow the bearings out in the fan, freak everybody out, then your computer's done. Now you just want to gently, slowly go around all the open areas and try to collect as much of the dust and scum as you possibly can on your Q-tip. Look at that. that. Look at that. That's an already in it. Uh, anyways, just going around slowly. And keep track of your keyboard so it doesn't fall off and rip the little ribbon clip and you'll be done with money right then. Have to be careful. <laughs> We're gonna blow the fan out real easy. 
Make you spin a little bit. Right? You spin. Ah, I love this. Man. Well, this is the first time it's been open since the last time we opened it, huh? Ah, that made sense, didn't it? Now, last time we did this, we upgraded it from 2 gigabytes of RAM to 4. It's DDR RAM, right? Yeah. I'm saying this right. Anyway, so, just about there. Get it off. And then we look at this. And look here. So, look, there's some sparky hairs in here. There's one right there sticking up. Look. Look at that. Even sparky got in on the game. Yeah, slowly, consciously. Take care of what you're doing. Now, what we're after this little pocket right here underneath this little black plastic thing. Right, see there that, oh it's paper is what it is. That's where our other stick of RAM is. So we're gonna gently pop the clips out of the sides. And then pop up. Oh, hang on to your keyboard. Take it out, set it down. Put the keyboard back up. Don't touch it. Woo woo! That's where you take your piece of cup. Now. Grab the other one. That. Oh no, this is a, this is the old one. Where's the other one? Right here, look, here it is. Dada man. Just the dead around. Alright. Here we go. Slowly, gently. Get it out of the package. Set it down. Now, same for same procedure here we did with the first one. Right? You want the slot to line up with the tab. Right? So you find out where it is, flip it over, line it up. Drop it in there, real easy, easy peasy. Push it into it, click, put it down, and snap right in. Right then, you take the keyboard, and put it back up here, right? You make sure all the tabs line up where everybody's supposed to go. Right, you push it in, you push it down, and pull forward, right, like that. Woohoo! look at that! Yeah, buddy, locked in for Jackson Sewer. Right, here we go. Oh man, last one keeps it. Saw that shoe log right all over there. That is in between the keys here. Where's my little red nip nipple go? It's not, it flew off. I lost my little red nipple. No, I didn't there, it is right there. This is this is a key component of your corded keyboard on a Lenovo ThinkPad. This little button runs a little tab that controls the mouse on the screen. And it also goes to these buttons right here. Right, so you have a whole new set of functions for those. I haven't figured out what they are because they turned off because I freaked myself out one day with the little scrolly button in the middle and I haven't had the boss to turn it back on yet. Right, so here we are. But I do know that the little nipple, see this little square, see, square? The little nipple fits on the little knob and I can use it. I can use it to move the mouse around if I want. Right, yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. And I got the buttons, is all gnarly and nasty. Right. If you're going to be poking and prying with something like this, these, do something like this, wood or plastic, right? So it doesn't be static and ground something out and burn everything up. Right? Then you really be pissed off. Right? And we're going to make sure everybody's clean and happy. Right now, we, right? Take the brush, wipe off the screen. Right? There you go, Panzer. You got tuned up. Right? Almost wait, we forgot. Flip them over. Right? Make sure everybody's happy. Put the little door back on, right? Now look, see the hose gonna be sticking up right there. Right? If you're smart and you do this right, you put your little tabs in the slots and you lower it down slowly and you line it up with the hole, push it all the way down, push it all the way back. Just like that. Oops, oops. Oops, where your little screwdriver go? There it is. See click, click right in. Where your little screwdriver go? Little clips. Oh, there, there it is, right there. Now, make sure that all the little tabs are in. Everybody's happy. Screw, screw down. Slowly, gently. Remember, steady pressure, because it goes all the way through. You don't want to break the keyboard. Get the battery. Right? Flip them over here. Stick them back in these little slots. Click, clack, clack, boom. Here we go. See what happens. Hmm. The screen ain't done anything. Come on. There it goes. 
It's too late, so you got to throw the screen. Yeah. Then take the screen and back up. Huh? Uh -huh. Not at all, look. Here you go. A little quick, came apart. Is that not working? Look, it's on. <laughs>